guys and welcome back to my channel. I have a really fun unboxing to do for you today. So I saw that one of my favorite designers was working on the quilters planner this year and I really knew that I wanted to get my hands on one. So I contacted them and they sent me a copy to unbox for you guys and they sent me a copy to give away to one of you guys. So stay tuned to the end of this video to see how you can enter to win one for yourself. But let's go ahead and unbox our 2019 quilters planner. So the first thing that's on top of my box here is just a little info card and a thank you for your purchase card. And then right here they have some social media share stuff. So if you wanna share on your social media, they give you some hashtags that um, you can use. And then it also comes with this English paper piecing set called Pollen Pillow. And I've got to be honest, I haven't actually done a whole lot of English paper piecing as of yet. Um, I think these are really fun projects to bring with you if you're sitting at kids' at sporting games or practices. And so I'm kind of excited to see this. This one looks really fun and colorful as well. And then it comes with all of the little templates that you need in the back. And then before I get to the planner itself, um, I want to show you the Quilters magazine that also comes with it. And this is a nice, thick magazine, you guys, full color. And then, of course, it has inspiration or information on Camille Ross Kelly from Thimble Blossoms, who helped design the covers for this month. And then the rest of the magazine has information on the patterns that are included in this month's box. And I'll kind of do a little bit more of a up close for you so that you can see. Um, but there is information on foundation, paper piecing basics, how to do it, instructions. And then there are also a ton of patterns. I believe it says there are 13 patterns on the inside and two new tutorials. So there is the cover and the back. And then, like I said, a magazine full of patterns and inspiration. So I didn't realize that this came with it. I thought the patterns were inside of the planner. So it's kind of nice to have the patterns in their own book like this. So that is really cool. And I believe all of the Quilters planners come with that. Okay, now onto my planner. So I chose the navy. This is the original um, scrumptious print. They changed it for their Good Life line and went with some navies and some other colors. But... It's super nice, and if you can see, it's a really nice, thick, kind of laminated, definitely durable cover. And then it's got a nice plastic navy spiral right here for you. And then, as you can see, there's tabs for all the months as well. And I'll go ahead and go through this with you. So here's kind of a closer view. So here's the nice, thick front cover, and as you can see, it's kind of a laminated cover. And then the first page has like a thank you and just some kind of information and just a little bit of encouragement. They also tell you where how you can register your planner so that you can uh, stay up to date with new any changes in patterns or any new organizational print printables or articles that they're going to share. The next thing that they have in here is important deadlines, personal information. They also have a yearly goal um, planning page and then the photography in this planner is just absolutely amazing and inspirational just in and of itself. And then they've got a little drawing page where you can draw. And then on the beginning of every month, they've got a lovely picture with a little bit of inspiration. This quilt is one of the ones um, that is being featured and the pattern for this quilt is in the magazine. And then they've got a month at a glance, as you can see, with a sampler um, quilt block. Instructions for all of the blocks in the planner are in the magazine that I showed you. They've got monthly goals, personal projects, quilting projects, a notes section, another little grid down here. And I love that they have these little grids everywhere. I'm not sure if it's showing up on camera. There we go. But you can do um, nice, you know, little quick sketches of blocks and things like that that you're interested in. And then they've got holidays listed and things like that. And then here's the first week. So they've got the month at a glance and then they go into the weeks. And each week has either a block um, or a quilting tip. So the first one has a block. Again, the instructions, they either have a link to the instructions or they're in the magazine. They have a habit tracker, personal to-do list, quilting to-do list, shopping list, notes, and then of course your times. They've got times down the side over here and then just like kind of to-do bullet lists at the top. And then, like I said, the next one comes with tips and they have tips like machine cleaning, um, things like that. But all the weekly pages are the same. Then there's another block, another tip. That one's cutting mat cleaning. Again, another block, tutorials online, links to the tutorials, and then we're at the next month. And so I'm gonna, all the months are basically the same, alternating 
the blocks with the quilting tips. So I'll just go through and show you the month headers now. So this is March. They always have some inspiration and a cute project. April. I really like this one. I might have to do that one. And a block. Love that block. Here's May's project. June's. Those are cute. Fireflies. <laughs> July, love the rainbow. August, September, this was the kit that comes in with, um, that I showed you at the beginning if you'll remember. October's, this is really fun. November, love it. This one looks like a table runner. December, Super cute. Oh, I like that idea of the Dresden with the different backgrounds. Whenever I do Dresdens, I do the same background, so that's kind of fun. Here is the this month's sampler quilt block, and that's the one that was on the front that I showed you. Instructions are in the magazine for that one. Here are the pattern section, and here are all the patterns that are coming with this, and I'll try and do a little bit more close-up so you can kind of see. There's 13 patterns in this month's or this year's magazine, and all of the designers and inspiration and information on how to do them. And then it tells you the finished size, who designed it, what it's called, and then you can look it up in the magazine. Um, they also have a list, um, a place where you can get corrections if there are any, and you can register so that you'll be notified of any corrections as well. And then they've got some idea pages in here, and these are all the same grid paper. This is dot paper, probably not showing up as well. This is the triangle paper. So that one's kind of fun. And then hexi paper. Hopefully this is showing up. I can't really see it on mine, but hopefully you can. And then some good paper again. And then now they go into some of the projects. And this is where you can list all of your projects. They've got stages of your projects right here. So if, um, the due date, the project, who it's going to go to, fabric chosen, cut, pieced, assembled, backed, basted, quilted, and bound. And so you can kind of keep track of all your projects. And I use this part for gift giving so that I can keep track of, um, you know, who is getting what. And I can make sure that I've actually finished everything so that I'm not, you know, rushing or anything like that. Um, I also use it for my own projects so I can kind of see where I am so that, you know, we all have those whips out there that we main to finish. And then they get stuck somewhere in our sewing room and then we forget about them. And then, you know, a year later we pull them out and realize that we we still have them and then they also have these kind of more detailed project planners I actually love these pages for creating my own quilts this side is um, either the grid or the dot and then over here has all the information and supplies you need and there's also a little drawing section right here as well and so I like to use these for my my quilts it helps me draw everything out figure out what I need for them and just helps me plan them and there's quite a few of those pages And then in the back here, they've got two different ones. They have the B and Block Swap Project. So if you're going to do any swaps, and those are by month. And then they've also got the Swap Planner. So that you can get your partner's likes, dislikes, different names. Just keep che um, check of due dates and all of that kind of thing. What their Instagram information is. And then in the back here, they have a reference sheet. And this is really kind of cool. They've got fabric breakdowns, different ways to cut fat quarters, cutting estimators, how many squares you can get from different yardage, um, diagonal measurements, squares, and things like that. So that can be really helpful. And they also have helpful piecing methods to kind of make things a little bit easier. And then this is new, I haven't seen this, but this is my first time getting this planner, but they have a 42 inch wide bolt of fabric here, and it's basically a yard and two yards, and that allows you to draw on here so that you can kind of get your max cutting out of your fabric so you're not wasting it. So I actually really am kind of liking this. I'm always trying to figure it out in my head which way to cut things so that I can you know, maximize my use of my fabric. They also have a color wheel back here, personal color wheel house, so you can kind of play with your own colors and see what looks good together. And then they have idea savers. Again, these are the grid pages. And then there's a couple blank. Then there's information on the contributors for the planner. And then these are probably one of my favorite. These are the Thimble Blossom stickers. And this is what came. You get two sheets of these stickers. They're so adorable. I think, of course, the sewing machine is my favorite, but honestly, I really love them all. 
So you get two of those from uh, Camille Ross Kelly. Those are super cute. And then they have some basic stickers, quilt shows, appointments, bills, guild meetings, things like that, quilt retreats. And then they've also got basic stickers, birthdays, anniversaries, vacations, and so days. And then the last page in here, it's also probably one of my favorites and it is a pocket and I really like that I'm always wanting to stick things and I usually just stick them in the pages and then they fall out but I really like that there's a pocket back here that I can put um, you know patterns that I'm working on or any information or extra little bits and bobs in here so that I can kind of keep track of everything it can stay tucked nicely in my planner all right and that is it that's what the inside of the quilters planner for 2019 looks like all right, so that's basically the inside of the planner. So when you purchase the Quilters Planner, you'll get your planner, whichever front you choose. You'll also get the magazine, which is really nice. And then you're also gonna get the Pollen Pillow EPP set, which is kind of fun. So this is what comes in your box when you purchase the Quilters Planner for 2019. So I think that's super fun. I'm really excited to start using my planner. Um, I actually have one that I specifically use for my quilt projects. I put all of my Christmas presents in there and projects that I need to make, gift projects and things like that in there so I can keep track of what I need to make, how far it is in its process, who it's going to and when it's done so that I can kind of get everything organized and ready so that I'm not forgetting something or forgetting somebody or not finishing a project. And like I mentioned, I have one to give away to one of you. And I'm gonna kind of show you this, but I'm not gonna pull everything out just so you can see which one it is. And here is the giveaway one. This is the orange peel cover. Super cute, it's got all the thimble blossoms kind of standard colors on it. And then of course the inside is exactly the same as the one that I just showed you. So this is the one I'm gonna go ahead and give away and I'm gonna do it here on YouTube. I think in order to enter to win, I'm gonna have you guys leave a comment below letting me know what your favorite sewing supply or notion is. It can be fabric, scissors, your sewing machine, your entire sewing room, a fabric line, something like that. Just leave me a comment letting me know what your favorite is. I'll put all the details on the giveaway in the description box below. So just click the show more link and you can see everything down there on dates that I'm gonna be picking winners and all of that. Just make sure I have some way to get a hold of you. If you have a private YouTube account, then I don't think I can send you a message off of that. So just make sure that I have some way to get hold of you um, when you're entering to win. So here's everything that comes in the Quilters Planner when you purchase it. You get the planner, of course, you get to choose your cover. You get the Quilters Planner magazine and you get the paper piecing set as well. Super fun. I'm really excited to be able to start using this. I think everything is really good quality. It looks like they took a lot of time and effort in putting this planner together. Super nice and I can't wait to start putting my projects for 2018 in it. If you have any questions, my email information, everything will be below. I will also put a link below where you can get your quilters planner and of course you're welcome to email them with questions as well. Don't forget to leave a comment below to enter to win the giveaway so that you can get a quilters planner as well. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing and I will see you next time.